Does anyone miss the good old-fashioned TV with the antennas on it? Or does anyone miss cable television? Because this streaming thing that's taking place in my life with Wi-Fi, this stuff is just driving me crazy. I had no idea what streaming was. I had cable up until I think the year 2015. I just wanted cable. I wanted those wires going all through my house. I wanted the cable company coming, drilling holes to put in every single room and cords being put, you know, strung over the door post and in the edges and under the carpet. I didn't mind that because it was just cable. I, I didn't even think I needed Wi-Fi for anything. Other than, you know, my wife doing her working from home or, or, you know, my kids, you you know, needing Wi-Fi to go. I didn't own a computer until maybe the year, I don't know, 2016. I didn't do any of that stuff. Didn't get my smartphone until like maybe, uh, I don't know, maybe 2013. I had a flip phone. I didn't think Wi-Fi was necessary until my kids said they needed to do their homework. I I didn't understand it. And so when people were telling me they were getting direct TV and these things on the side of their houses and you can get the dish and this and that, you got to turn it this way and turn it that way. Why would I want to even subject myself to doing any of that? And why does, why do I want this big thing hanging on the side of my house? And you can get movies and you can watch them and before they come out and you don't have to pay for them. It's like, no, I just want my cable. Then all of a sudden this Netflix thing comes out. I don't know what it is. You you mail, uh, you, you mail it, you want a movie, you watch it, you mail it back. They send you another one. That was coming out because Blockbuster was going out of business and the the red thing, whatever it is, you go to the grocery stores and get the, all that stuff was, it was obsolete. And so I was okay with cable. In cable, you got the HBO and Cinemax, you know, and later, later on, T- TBS and TNT. So I was able to watch the games and, and MTV and VH1 and BET all came out. And then later on, Cartoon Network for my kids. But I, I remember it was so much stuff to watch. It was just overwhelming. Because growing up, when you had a TV with just the antenna, you had maybe four or five channels. You had the the four, five, seven, CBS, NBC, and ABC, and then maybe channel two. And then it was a UF, UHF where you you can watch the cartoon stations after school. And 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 Charlie Brown specials only came on uh, once once every holiday. You see the the Halloween and Christmas and. Uh, every now and then you get the wide world of Disney or the wide world of sports on ABC and that and the local games. That was all you got. And I was fine with it. And the rest of the time I was outside playing games or going to Sunday school or vacation Bible school or reading a book. You know, before Atari came and that's what I was doing. Atari's another story for another rant. But then when I got cable and we got HBO and Showtime and ESPN and TBS and and you start seeing all these these movies and TVs and the, the HBOs where you get to watch the movies that you never seen in the movie theater and TV land, you get the old shows and I'm looking at Gilligan and Brady Bunch and Adam's Family and Star Trek and then you turn it to BET and you see Martin and the Wayans Brothers and the Jamie Foxx show and Living Single and... You know, all all these things that came out and I was fine with it and I was enjoying myself and I was still able to do things. And all of a sudden people start telling me about streaming and Netflix. And I said, Netflix, the male thing. No, Netflix, it's a Netflix. You got to stream. I had no idea what streaming was and you got to get Wi-Fi. And my wife talked me into getting a smart TV, whatever that was. And the smart TVs, you get free things like Pluto and Cackle and Roku and Spectrum and Tubi TV and all. And I, I was like, I don't even, what do you do? Well, you know, and I'm thinking you get a smart TV and you turn it on and then you get to watch all this stuff. And she says, no, you got to log it into the internet and the Wi-Fi and the Wi-Fi has to work. And it's not, I can't just turn the TV on and watch it. And this is a smart TV. What is it supposed to do? 
And she says, yeah, you get all these things. So I turn it on and I see HBO, Showtime, Cinemax, all these little boxes you click. I click all of them and watch them. And they ask for your your, your, your credit card number and all this type of stuff. And I figure, well, I, I guess that comes with the TV, the smart TV. And it's the Wi-Fi. So I'm thinking you're paying through that. I'm enjoying myself. I'm watching uh, Hulu, whatever, you know, and Netflix and Disney Plus and now I got HBO and Showtime and Cinemax and I'm watching all these things plus the other free shows and I'm so stressed out, I don't know what to watch first. Yeah, a month down the line, I'm getting, they're taking money out of my account for Hulu and they're taking money out of my account for Cinemax and for Showtime and I asked my, well, what is this? I'm paying more money than I'm paying than I, when I had cable. All these things, I'm paying for HBO and I'm paying for NFL uh, Red Zone and she said, oh, no, those are just free trials. You got to cancel them. What? Yeah, yeah, you got to pay for all those. You pay for all those and, and you, you whichever ones you want to watch, uh, you watch them and you cancel them. So you don't have to keep Hulu and Netflix and Disney Plus and you can just keep NFL Network, whatever you don't watch. You're gonna, I, I, and I just got so overwhelmed with myself and I was so upset that I, I canceled my cable. I'm paying more streaming than I am for cable. That's why I liked it with, before all this stuff came. And WWF, uh, WWE Network comes out with something. And Peacock is out. And you got to keep up with everything that's going on. And then Fire Stick comes out. And my wife says, okay, don't worry about the streaming. Don't worry about the smart TV. Uh, you just have a regular TV. And you put, put this on here. Now Amazon has this thing. And... and they take money out of your account. And then the remote on the fire stick doesn't work. And what does this do? Oh, you can get free movies now and you download and, you, and you're waiting 20 and 30 minutes and all this. And it, it, uh. I liked it in the 70s and 80s when things were easy. Oh, drop me a comment on your favorite streaming uh, app or whatever it is that you... Use on your smartphone or your smart TV. Let me know. I, I'm okay with the regular TV and antennas. Take me back to the 70s. That's just a water's rant for today.